Oh hey, I didn't see you there. Man, with all of these cooking mama rumors flying around, I have to get this kitchen ready. But, let me address the elephant in the room. It's been a little while since I've uploaded. Back in August, I wanted to put out more content more quickly, and in doing so, I kind of ended up with something a little subpar and burnt myself out. I was considering scrapping that, but I still wanted to put it out there. So this is the first and hopefully only lost episode of Cooking with Cooking Mama. I hope you guys still enjoy it. Meanwhile, I'm putting something together way bigger than I'm excited for next month. My left speaker has been a little muffled lately. I hope nothing's wrong with it. Huh, this might be the problem. There's something in here. Cooking Mama. Cooking Mama. Hey everyone, it's Game Tim with another episode of Cooking with Cooking Mama. A series where I recreate recipes from your favorite cooking games. Now you may have noticed I've kept the format from the last video because I'm working on something a little bit bigger for this channel that I have to keep secret just for now. In the meantime, I'm probably going to do a few more of these kind of shorter videos, things that I thought were a little too brief to tackle before, which means today's recipe is peanut butter from Cooking Mama 2. Just because it's a short recipe doesn't mean it's bad. I've been wanting to try to make peanut butter for years now, and I'm excited to finally give it a go. The ingredients for peanut butter are peanuts, butter, maple syrup, and salt. Making homemade peanut butter has always been highly rec almended to me, but it always seemed like a tough nut to crack. Even if I go pecan at other recipes before I start, I'll celebrate if this turns out right the first time. Now kick off those cashews because it's time to watch what sort of peanut butter we can make with Cooking Mama.
Thanks for watching. Now, everyone's heard of creamy or smooth peanut butter and then chunky or crunchy peanut butter, but I think Cooking Mama today made a new category, and that's just the inside of a Reese's cup. It's very sandy and dry, and I think that's because of a few things. My food processor isn't necessarily the greatest, and I think having a better one could have gotten the blend a little bit more fine. And I realized recently that maybe just dry peanuts aren't the right ones to use. A friend of mine pointed out that a lot of peanut butter is made from roasted peanuts. That might have been my mistake. Like I said, this is my first time making peanut butter, so I went entirely by Cooking Mama, and obviously some mistakes were made. Honestly, it probably should have been a red flag that my peanuts didn't go through the mesh properly. But in Cooking Mama's defense, the butter and the maple syrup did add a little bit of that moisture back in. So, I'm finished complaining, I'm gonna try a bite, and I'm gonna feel really bad if it ends up being delicious. Okay, believe it or not, it's actually pretty good. The maple syrup gives it a nice sweetness, and the butter and the salt give it a good saltiness. It tastes great. It is the driest peanut butter I've ever had, and putting it just on top of plain bread isn't exactly helping it. But I think I could definitely use this peanut butter just fine in a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, or on future desserts. This recipe was more of a learning experience for me, but I think I took away a lot of good things from Cooking Mama here. Use the right peanuts, get a proper food grinder, and contrary to popular beliefs, peanut butter isn't just made from peanuts and butter. Boy, was that peanut butter dry. Thanks for watching. If you like this and you want to see more, subscribe. And like I said, I have something big planned for next month, but in the meantime, please comment anything you'd like to see me make from Cooking Mama. I love your recommendations. See ya!